Hey guys, welcome back to the vlog and happy Sunday. I am just cleaning the house a little bit right now and I never do weekend vlogs so I thought it would be kind of fun. I'm watching the last episode of Fairly Legal season two, which is my new obsession and so I'm on the finale. And I guess it was canceled after two seasons. And Jake is at work right now, hence me talking to myself. So let's clean. And, and as you guys know, I have a lot coming up and I'm usually so good at shutting off and not working on the weekends, but I'm definitely feeling the pressure of things happening. So I'll probably do some work in this vlog and which I always think are like the most interesting clips for you guys to watch. So I'll film that too. My tripod broke as I was filming today, which really sucks. You can see there's a piece here that snapped off so this thing won't stay tight anymore. So when I film, this just rotates, especially because of the weight of the camera. It just goes all the way like this. So maybe I can fix that and that sucks, but I want to show you guys, I don't know if I ever talked about the bedding we chose and I plan to do a full bedroom makeover because our room is pretty plain right now. I did style this area, which came out really cute, and Jake bought me that lamp from Target, but I want to kind of like finish everything <laughs> um, and make it really the way I want, but I realized I never showed you guys this bedding or talked about it. So we actually got this at Marshall's on sale, and it was Nicole Miller brand. And my mom has purchased a lot of different things from like the Nicole Miller line at Marshalls and TJ Maxx. So I love her stuff and we just loved this because it's lightweight, which is great for Arizona. You can see it's really thin. And then also I liked that it was white, but there was still some visual interest. And my plan for this room was to do like a Mexican inspired Serape blanket and have some texture and color and then that's like a little bit Moroccan and I felt like these designs could kind of go either way with that so that's that and then and then the shams came with it this pillow is a DIY that I gold leafed and then this is from Pottery Barn Teen when I was a lot younger that my mom had bought from me we also got that at Marshall's and then I have some pillows back here too that I DIY'd a long time ago that say wake up and then the other one says smell the roses so yeah. Okay, so I was just working in my sketchbook because I'm gonna create a little graphic to announce the release date, August 9th, for my back to school collection. And um, since I told you guys, I need to post it on Instagram too. So I'm just in Photoshop and I'm gonna make a new little square graphic for the gram. Oh, maybe I'll make it not square. Maybe I'll make it portrait. Yeah, okay. Okay, so I'm going to use my fallen star design. I can't decide. I think I might wanna do it like full on the screen like that. And then I'm gonna go ahead and bring in these lettering pieces that I just did. Okay, the graphic is done, and I'm gonna post that on Instagram, and I also just responded to all of your comments on my latest video, which were so sweet. Thank you guys. I always love hearing from you, and I try to reply to every comment on YouTube. YouTube is a really awesome platform because it's so easy to reply to comments on there. They make it really simple for you versus Instagram, which makes it really hard. Um, I try to reply to all my Instagram comments too, but they cut you off after you reply to like 10 or so people. So you can't just sit and have like a big comment binge, which is kind of frustrating. 
Okay, I lied. I actually wanted to go in and add my logo there, so I'm gonna export this again. Oh, I feel so good that the house is so clean. I am going to just change right now and go over to my parents for lunch and hang out with them. I could wear this, but I feel like I'm just gonna get hot. I have this really cute bralette that I believe is from Forever 21, and then this cute kind of dyed tank top, and the brand is 523, which is a local brand, um, and they used to have a store, but I think they've transitioned into wholesale, so I got this at their like closing sample sale. Okay, hello guys. I am home, and I stupidly forgot my camera battery when I left and I hung out with my mom but I hung out at my parents house and my mom and I went to Target and TJ Maxx so I thought I would show you guys what I got I needed to return some things at Target and I needed a few things so I ended up getting a new shampoo and conditioner because I ran out and I usually use Bumble and Bumble but it's so expensive and I don't really want to buy that all the time so I got Shea Moisture shampoo and conditioner and I love, love their mascara. My best friend turned me on to the brand when she bought me soap and lotion for my birthday. I want to say last year or the year before, but I've loved it ever since. And it's all natural. And by the way, I'm waiting for Jake to come home. I also got a new foundation. I used the Revlon Photo Ready. And I hope I got the right shade. I wanted to go lighter because my face tends to be not as tan as the rest of my body. So I got that. And then also at Target, I got these, which are one of my favorite things to snack on. They are just these little microwavable packets of seasoned quinoa, spinach, tomato, and feta cheese. They're so good. So I got three of these. And then one last thing from Target, my mom bought some stuff too, and she ended up buying me these cute washi tapes, which I go through really fast um, because I like to scrapbook, but I use the different washi tapes whenever I send you guys packages and I outline the border of the shipping label. So I like to mix it up and have different patterns. So there's an orange and a blue, and they're kind of geometric and summery. I like these. Okay, and then moving into TG Maxx, one of my favorite places of all time, I got this tank top, which is so cute. It's for working out and it says happy hour. And I love how it fits and how lightweight it is. And it's actually a longer tank top too, which, I actually like shorter, more fitted ones because I feel like they're more flattering, but I can tie this one or just have it as a long option. Jake is home, please pause. Jake's brother made me cookie. So I always need more of these no-show socks, like who doesn't? And then lastly, I got these two new sketchbooks. You guys know I'm a big fan of the art supplies at TJ Maxx. Like they always end up to be really good quality and last me really well. And I will say I did buy a set of Royal and Lang Nickel brushes once. I think I got those at Ross though. And they were a little bit, mm, they were like a little bit cheap, but um, I have their watercolor paints as you guys know, and I really have been a fan of those ever since I um, used them in my setting up your own watercolor palette video. So they had Royal and Lang Nickel sketchbooks for so inexpensive. This one was $5, $4.99, and this one was $2.99. And one of them was open, so I was able to test the paper quality. That always bothers me, like when you go to other art stores, you can't feel the paper. And this paper is so thick and textured. I'm so stoked. And I usually am like casual with sketchbooks. They don't need to be super high quality because you're just jotting down your ideas. But these are nicer than some of the nice ones I see. vlog for tonight we are going to finish cooking and eat dinner and i'm going to edit this video thanks so much for watching until my next video i'm sending you guys all my positive and creative vibes your way and i'll see you in the next one bye but if you haven't heard i am releasing a back to school collection which i'm so excited about